Good morning, guys. Well, it's another day. I just had my coffee, and I'm trying to get myself in a positive mindset, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not too pissed off. Man. You know, every morning it's like a battle to keep yourself motivated and to uh, keep yourself in a positive mindset. You know, it's uh, it's true. But I have a lot to be thankful for. I'm glad that I don't have a lot to take care of. Um, but what I want to talk about this morning is, you know, I, I feel the need for change, you know, I'm going on three years living in my car and I love, like I say, not having to take care of a lot of things. I don't love the idea of owning something, but I definitely want to have more comfort. I I can't say, well, I can say that there's been times living in my car, I I've haven't had that much comfort, specifically related to extreme weather, extreme heat, whether it was in the Florida in summer, or the extreme cold, the winters in New Jersey. You know, when you live in your car, if you can't change your environment, um, after a period of time, car living, just like any type of living gets frustrated or gets frustrating because life is frustrating guys. <laughs> Am I frustrated with living out of my car now? I wouldn't say that I'm frustrated because I, I've owned property. So now I, I look at what's my alternative. Do I want to own property again? It has to be the right deal, and right now the right deal is not out there. But I I just feel like this season of my life is at the end. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you're at the end of a relationship, you kind of know, even if you're still together with someone, you kind of know when it's dying. You know what I mean? You know when the relationship is starting to get to the point where you're going to break up, or you're going to get divorced. And you don't even necessarily, you're not at the point where you're blaming anymore. You're not blaming them for the breakup or divorce. You're not blaming yourself. It's just over. You know, there's things in life that kind of run their course. And they don't necessarily have someone or something to blame. And, and you actually are thankful for the time. You know, once you get past some emotions. Like for me, you know, I mean, obviously I've been cursing in one sense home ownership for the past couple of years uh, because I, I th- obviously look, but there was a time in my life where I had a home and, and I enjoyed it. I had people over, I had girls over, I'd, you know, I had different things that I enjoyed to a certain extent with home ownership. I'm not thrilled about owning a home again. I don't know if I ever will. I can't even say that I'm thrilled with the idea of upgrading as far as getting a travel trailer or RV or something because I really don't want to go through the process of buying something. But in one sense, I do feel like that's my next step, not just for the sake of making the next step. I'm more excited about adding something to my life right now, something new, something that'll add some more comfort rather than staying Rather than staying as is. You know, it's like also with a job, right? You know what I mean? You work a job. And after you get to know a job, after working in the same position for a couple of years, you like the fact that you go to work and you kind of put it in autopilot. You know what's expected of you. You know the people. You know what to do. But then also it gets to a point where it kind of runs its course And I don't want to say you want to be challenged again, because to me, I don't like that word challenge. I try to make my life easier. And when you're challenged, you're going to have to stretch yourself a little bit. But there are times where you have to stretch yourself or you have to grow yourself. You just, everything runs its course with a job, with a relationship, with a living circumstance. Has living in my car run its course? Not yet, because... The opportunity 
hasn't presented itself. I beat myself up a little bit because along my journey, you know, there's been a couple RVs or a couple home bases that looking back now, I said, well, maybe I should have got. Would a home base make my life easier or RV? It would make my life have a little bit more comfort. It would add some complexity to it, you know, some more expense, some more aggravation. So I'm trying to balance it out, and that's why I didn't commit to changing my living circumstance because I always tell you, like, if you get out of a, a, a relationship, I think you should be single for a while. You know what I mean? To experience that. So that's why I didn't want to buy anything within the first year or two after selling my house because I don't I wanted to experience being free I I also just got done paying off my debt in my adult life first time ever almost at the age of 40 where I'll be debt free you know I want to experience being debt free for a while so for those reasons I've been kind of like just waiting but I I feel a bubbling like I feel the same thing that I felt at the end of a relationship, at the end of home ownership, at the end of certain job positions, you get to a point where it's just, it runs it runs its course. And you know you're on the beginning of something new. It's exciting, but it's also nerve wracking because anything new requires you adapting, changing, growing, and being challenged. I'm not in a rush. That's what's in my favor. Uh, I'm still healthy. And I, I don't, you know, right now as I make this, uh, in April of 2020, there's still this coronavirus, this uh, global pandemic. So society is shut down to a big extent. It'll pass eventually. So I, I was I don't want to make a major decision during a, during an extreme circumstance because that's an emotional thing that you'll regret. However, look, I, I've been talking about a home base or an RV for a while now. So for me, it's not something that like just sprung up. But I guess I'm making this video to kind of run through my feelings, share them with you. Uh, it's a level of therapy, too, for me to just get it out because I live alone. So, you know, YouTube is a side hustle, but it's also like an outlet for me to share and connect with people that are similar. And just get my thoughts out there so I can just move on with my day. You know what I mean? Without having to be entangled in a relationship. You know, what would a home base or an RV... Uh, do for me well it would just add some more stability and comfort period you know that's it what would an rv or a home base do for me it would add some stability and some comfort uh, i still love florida you know i mean i travel enough to know that for me well I, I i love warm sunny weather i agree that in florida in the summertime it's very hot and that's where you want some flexibility to come up north to a cooler state either as a vacation or as a snowbird. But I could tell you here, looking at people in April, winter clothes on with ski masks on, and on a cold, windy day in April, that, you know, you know, I don't want to be up north this time of year. It's just, uh, it's depressing. It is, you know. And it'll be a little bit sunny today. 55 degrees and sunny is like hopeful. And, you know, again, love and respect to everyone who likes these change of seasons. I hate them. I hate them. Now, look, you know, even, even when it's in Florida and sometimes it's hot, I still get down. Because life still gets you down, you know. There's nothing in life that's perfect. I, I never try to lie to you guys. I'm just trying to share with you my thoughts. I'm very thankful. Like I said, I do have to fight the negative feelings. You know, like I've run across some people. They comment on some of my channels when I talk about, like, you know, hating life. And, like, they share a little bit too much, like, they like what I'm saying about hating life. Guys, I mean, I hate life, but I also, I can't bitch and moan about it too long because that's not valuable either. I'm not going to sit around every day just hating life, hating people, because it's just a horrible existence. I, so I say that I hate life, I'm upset with this, I'm frustrated with this, but then what I do is after I get it out, I kick myself in the ass and I say, you know what, Sam, be thankful for what you have. You know, do something positive and productive. Get off your ass, which I'm about to do. And, you know, go live life as best you can. And um, that's what it is. But I guess my main purpose for this video is I just want to document, look, everything in life runs its course. 
I may be in the season where running, living in a car has run its course. I don't want to do anything rushing. But, you know, I'm mindful of my feelings. And I'm taking time to process them so I don't make an emotional decision. Or purely emotional. You know, look, we're partly logical, partly emotional. That's part of the human makeup. So whether everything runs its course, whether it's your living circumstance, your relationship, your job, or whatever in life, you know what I mean? So it's just part of life, guys. You know what I mean? You embrace it. You try to be responsible. So you line up logic and you line up emotion. And you live with, you live below your means. You buy responsibly. You understand your emotional makeup. Don't buy too much, not just financially, but also with regards to maintenance and emotional commitment to take care of something, whether it's a pet or an automobile. Like, I know me. I know that I don't do good with the stress of having to take care of a lot of stuff. Some people may, not for me. So when you're middle-aged, and I think it takes to your 30s or 40s till you know yourself, and I think that's why a lot of people get divorced or they go through a midlife crisis in their, you know, in their 30s or 40s because you get to a point where you say, you know what, now I really know myself. I know what I can handle or I know what I can like and what I don't like. I know I like, I love living simple. I know I love sunny weather. I know I don't love taking care of a lot of things, but I also know that as I progress on my very simple life that I want to add some more comfort. I want to add some more stability in a small incremental level when the opportunity is right. And right now I'm just like being patient for the opportunity to meet up with the timeline. And that's what I want to share in this video. If you appreciate, appreciate if you would click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you're not check out my playlist on my Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. I also go live every night on YouTube around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Uh, join the live chat. I'll read each and every comment. Leave a comment below. See you in the next one.